It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. Welcome in to this live edition here on a beautiful Kentucky Sunday. Freezing cold. Freezing cold. But not as cold as yesterday morning when we stood in line for Pappy. Yes. But we'll get to that in one moment. Oh, we'll get to that. Oh, don't you worry. We'll get there. Um, so today, as you saw in the description, we're doing finished whiskeys, uh, most of which are bourbons, but there is a rye in there. Um, so we just wanted to throw that out there so you guys know what you're in for. If you want to skip ahead to see each of them individually and skip all of our chit chat, then you totally should. We'll put the uh, timestamps down in the comments after the episode. And uh, what you looking for? Uh, it, it sounds more echoey today. I don't know. It's I, very quiet in here. It sounds like it, there's more reverberation. How's Is there it, an echo, you guys? How's it sound to you guys? I don't know. It just sounds not like I can really go do Thanks anything about it. Thanks for complimenting my scarf. I'm going to keep wearing scarves just for you guys. <laughs> I'm going to start wearing scarves. It's going to be my thing. That would be fun. I like gonna that. going to scarf it up. But yeah, let us know if we're kind of echoey or anything. And I, when I make a point, I'm going to toss it over my shoulder. <laughs> It's not like I can do anything about it. Like, I, I can hang up sound blankets all of a sudden. No, you can't <laughs> no, do, anything. Can't do anything about it. No echo. They said they're good. All right, good. Thanks, Pear. Um, so, first, we'll do our sample shout out like normal. Um, first of all, we want to thank Matthew Zittrick, or Whiskey is the Best, who is, that's his name um, on YouTube. Whiskey is the Best. Whiskey is the best. That's what I said. I know. Oh. I'm saying, it, I'm saying it is oh, the best. Oh, I see. I got you. Okay. Uh, he sent us like literally 40 samples. He says like three boxes of samples. I can't imagine how long it took to fill and label those. So thank you so much. Two of which were the, what, fourth and fifth edition of the Whistlepig Boss Hog. Ugh. Explosion. <laughs> And um, as you guys, if you saw Travis Wallard in the um, in the chat, he sent us these Cedar Ridge bottles. If you want to grab those, yes, which so we didn't realize one of them was finished. Um, sample. We just shout got these time. in, so uh, we if we may get around to cracking this open uh, and trying that out. I think we will. I think we will. Chad says. I think we will. He also sent. Oh, the poster. He also sent this poster, which you can see. Uh, <laughs> The best bourbon comes from the best corn. Sorry, Kentucky. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Those fine words for Chad. But what I said, <laughs> cleverly, I might add, well, oh. we can just buy our corn from Iowa and uh, still store it in the best place to store bourbon in the world, which is Kentucky, and also use the best water in the world, which <laughs> is, is Kentucky. Is Kentucky limestone water? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, but thank you. Yeah, it, seriously, it's thank you so much. It gave us a laugh. We did. We got a little <laughs> chuckle out of it. <laughs> Chat. <laughs> um, no, it's great. Thank you. Much appreciated. We're looking forward. Yeah, we are looking forward to looking that. Looking forward to this, for um, sure. So that brings us into the what's new section, our new arrivals. What's new? We have a lot. Uh, we've been very fortunate this part of the year to get a lot of new things. Um, oh, man. What's wrong? It's one of those days when it still says four people are waiting instead of giving us the actual count of how many mm, people are watching. It'll catch up so in a minute. you guys will have to let us let know. Let us know. If we get any significant numbers. John Joyce watching. is watching from Ireland. That's awesome. All right. Uh, oh, I know what you guys want to see. Yeah, Ryan there, wants there's, to see the... there's some patrons in the in the chat. and, and uh, If you they, follow us on Instagram, you'll got, know what we got. And the pa Well, I gave oh. the patrons more info. Oh, um, you did. Yeah, I did. But I um, guess we can go ahead and... Go ahead and show the goods. I was like, if you drop that, I swear. Ha! Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is it. So, total wine and more. Um, a thousand tickets were yep. handed out. There was about 300 bottles total. But only a. Like a hundred. A hundred total from Van Winkle. From ten year, you know, ten, twelve, rye, fifteen, twenty, twenty-three. About about a hundred. The first number that was called, I was looking at my ticket, I was like one six one, you know, several like zero six two one six one. I was zero six two one six zero or something like that. <laughs> I, was, uh, I had a little mini heart attack. Then the second number that was called was mine. Yeah. He And I did a Ric Flair woo. I won't do it here because it'll blow it'll so blow you guys loud. out. He's but... so excited. I think you actually jumped up in the air. <laughs> like he was fully off the ground for a minute. And then instead of like, you know, turning to Sarah and be like, yeah, or you know, Perry and Swan were there and um uh our friend Ryan and his wife. Instead of like doing that, I just pew, He like, just <laughs> was gone. I was like, okay, bye. Yeah, well it's like because they say they said, you know, we'll call it three times 
And if we don't see a hand raised or hear someone, then we're just going to go next. So I was like, make some noise. Let it be known. <laughs> and then I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah, he. it was funny. So, yeah, the uh, the Pappy 23. It's now been added to the family. And this will be opened. Yeah, oh, definitely. We're going to do an uncorking. Um, Put that ooh, back in its nice. tuxedo. Um, while you go to the next thing. Mario Soria? Is that is it? Sor Soria? I'm not sure. Ask, can I get a shout out also? Yes. Shout out. <laughs> shout out to Mario. Um, yeah, that Pappy. Uh, then, and this is, a, this is a combination of Swan, Perry by extension, and also Sarah's number getting called. I was playing with a dog. <laughs> as well. Well, Perry had given me some old granddad 114 because I was so cold, like I couldn't feel my toes. If you guys, again, follow us on Instagram, you saw the picture of me. Like, I had to wrap my face up because I was so cold. And uh, so Perry gave me granddad 114 to warm me up. And then I was like, a puppy. <laughs> And yeah. I was playing with the puppy, and Chad was like, they called your number. Yeah, she's like, huh? Oh, they did? Oh, what? <laughs> I have to stop playing with this puppy? Um, so, ended up getting the Booker's 30th anniversary, which we were very looking forward to. We wanted we wanted this bad. They had 12 bottles. And here it is. And you uh, can see, we've already gotten into it. We opened it. it. Yeah, we opened that. Um, there will be an uncorking, <gasps> so we're not going to talk about it. No spoilers. Okay. <laughs> it's very hard for me to not talk about it. But, I mean, a little bit of a spoiler because we took three ounces out of this and we put it into a four ounce bottle that we have all of our potential best of 2018 whiskeys that we've been trying and, and rating. So, so we thought it deserved to go in that competition. So at least but we'll just tell you that. You know that. Yeah, so we pour a little bit in a bottle, mix them all up. Uh, they have what they are on the bottom of the bottle. But when we pour it into a glass, we put a sticker on the front that has a letter. So then we'll, you know, then we can let her later know yeah. what's what. What's what. So we're working on that in the meantime. Yes. So. But this will be an uncorking eventually. Um, yes. I've, if you guys are keeping up with us, you know that we're doing a video every day right now. So there really is no room for any new uncorkings at the moment because we're talking about something new every day. Yeah. Wish there was. Yes. And this, this box is made from reclaimed uh, wood from the Rick Houses. Yeah. And has a nice little inscription on the front, which again, just stay tuned for the uncorking. You get to... See a bunch of that. Mm -hmm. Open the pappy, Ryan H says. Oh, we will. <laughs> not not at this moment, but we will for an episode. <laughs> um, Everyone on this stream is making me laugh today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what else did we get? Well, so this is also a new uh, uh, acquirement, and this is thanks to Perry, who is mm -hmm. in the chat. This is my bourbon podcast on YouTube and um, iTunes and all that. So Perry uh, got this. And, you know, it was, he, he basically offered for me to split it with him. So I did. So he took his half, was good enough, kind enough to leave the bottle with us. So this is an eight year Wild Turkey 101. Um, came in a box even, which is this. And Perry can probably tell you more about it if you just yeah, want to. ask him in the chat. If you just want to let him know. But uh, we've both had this now and it is delicious it's so good so they just don't make it no. like that anymore um and then lastly and while you talk about this one i'm going to go ahead and pour our first sample which is the red river rye finished in bourbon barrels and this was sent to us by whiskey is the best aka matt matthew um so i'm gonna pour that while you talk about this last little thing little <laughs> this thing. is the worst day ever for jealousy it really is it's so pretty. Look at this it. This is it's... a pre-fire 1994 Henry McKenna bottled in bond. Distilled in 1984. Um, oh my gosh. That's before I was born. Before some of you were born. Before Perry was born and Swan. <laughs> so, right. so it's such an ugly yet beautiful bottle. It's got the, uh, you know, the neck charm on here that says bottled in bond. This awful yet awesome green wrapping with it's all its wrinkles so ugly it's beautiful faux tax stamp that says bottled and bond and this thing right here is felt like yeah. there's texture on here and um oof, yes barrel number 026 uh barreled on december 14th so in a few days will be its anniversary 1984 <laughs> yeah I mean, it's been, 
it's been an insane week. Like, I don't even know what to say. Um, we must have done been really good this year. I guess, I guess, yeah. Uh, yeah, and this was by happenstance. A buddy of mine was at his neighbor's house, and he knows that I'm into bourbon, so he sent me a picture of this. And I said, where are you? And, and what how, is that? How do I get this? And can I get this? And he said, I'm at my neighbor's house. It's like, it, does he want to sell it? He said, yeah, he will. Then we talked, came up with a number that I feel was very fair, and picked it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's awesome. Ooh. Yep. But yep. I mean, yes. Yep. Eventually they will all be opened. Obviously not all on the same day. Yep. Um, yeah. But we will get there. <sighs> so anyway, not on a live. We need to have that moment yeah. recorded in a very tight, replayable format. Yeah, forever and ever. It's just gonna be a lot of. Uh, yeah, if we do it. Oh, thanks, Hans. Hans. Appreciate it. So all your newly acquired bourbon. Cheers. Well, thank you. Oh, that was a modest uh, was cowbell a, cheers. That was very. A little better. Very delicate. There we go. <laughs> Uncorking marathon. Yeah. Perry says. Yeah. We're, yeah, it's called December. <laughs> yeah. We have an uncorking every day. Every day. <sighs> All right. What okay. is this again? Red so this River is Rye? the Red River Rye, and it's finished in bourbon barrels. So I've never heard of that before, a rye finished in bourbon barrels. But maybe I just don't know enough rye. I don't know. I thought I did, but I guess I don't. I'm almost it's getting so a light. scotch smell off of this. I don't. It's so mild, I can barely get anything. Kind of looks like scotch. What's, uh, do we have it does a, look like scotch. Do we have a proof on this? 80 proof. 80 proof. That's why it's okay. probably such a light, yeah. light nose. It mm -hmm. is very light. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Golden. Golden. All right. Red well, River, we've reviewed them before. I really um, like their Pinot Noir They're finished. finished in Pinot Noir cask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's, the cool thing about that's their... That's an uncorking that you can go watch. Their whole deal, if you look on their website... Uh, a portion of all the sales of the bottles go to like a wildlife preserve. And I think that that's yeah, really cool. Texas wildlife preserve. That's right. Yeah. Cause they're, they're in, Texas. in Texas. I think it's only available in Texas and Oklahoma. It looks like apple juice. Someone said, mm -hmm. Jason, I hope it tastes like apple juice. I like apple juice. It actually kind of does taste like apple juice, like a boozy apple juice and grape. That would go really good. I like to mix bourbon and apple cider in the fall, and I would put this in there. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, not necessarily that it's a, only for mixing. It's really mellow mm -hmm. it's and mellow. chill. Yeah, it's chill. A very easy sipper. But you can tell that it's a rye. It's got the heat building on the tongue. And... And... Littering and, littering and, <laughs> littering and, drinking the ride. Oh, William had a good idea. A once-in-a-lifetime flight fight. Which would be very interesting. What's that? To do, like, once we've uncorked the Pappy and have uncorked, I don't know, what else What else would you guys put in there? I mean, that, Oh, like the McKenna. Like, that we actually have access to. It can't be, like, pre-prohibition, you know, whatever. Because, like, <laughs> we don't have that. And that bottle is going to be r ridiculous. Yeah. But think about that. What will we put in there? Once they're opened, we could do a flight fight and they call it the once in a lifetime flight fight. I like that. I think that's cool. Yeah. By the way, the, the Pappy 23. Bye, Joseph. Joseph. Joseph Brazo. Joseph. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the Pappy 23 is actually the 2017 version. So when I got up there, they had one bottle of the 2017 and then maybe like, uh, I forget, five or six of the 2018 23s. I was like, well, it's a year old already. Sure, I'll take the 2017. So I kind of kick myself now because now we can't put it in our best of our potential, you know, best of 2018. And if he had said something to me before he ran off to get in in the line to buy it, we could have talked. But nope, he was just like, "All right, I don't need you anymore. I have the pack." <laughs> I won! <laughs> there I come, everybody. Basically, yeah. Everyone pat me on the back. Yeah. Actually, I got some. Stairs. Everybody, come see how good I look. <laughs> hey, everyone. Come see how good I look. No, you I got, did get some stairs. I got some stairs. When I, and I came back and joined the group, and I was clutching this bottle He wouldn't in even a bag, let me hold it. Uh, with two hands. Because it's just because I know how bad you would feel if you did happen to drop it. And that's something that would happen to yeah. me. Yeah. So I came back clutching this and, you know, stayed with it for the next hour and a half or however long we were there. And, and some people were staring me down. Because I knew what I got because I was you were like the second one to come out of the building. I got some stairs. Oh, and in the on the way 
uh, to the to the building, um, you know, I was like, yeah, I, because he was still like anybody. I was like, yeah, I'm the guy who just yelled like a 13 year old girl at a Backstreet mm. Boys concert. Um, I was holding my ticket. Someone's like, I'll give you two hundred dollars for that ticket right now. Uh, you know, I was like, no, no, obviously not. You crazy. Yeah. Um, it was, yeah, like Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, kind of. It was. Run home, Charlie, as fast as you can. That's how I felt. Don't Chad stop. just wanted to run home, yeah. I think. Yeah. He was giddy like a schoolgirl. That's very funny. This is kind of like a juice box. It, it really is. is. I've been just like, I think this is dangerous because I could drink a lot of this. I like the rye. The heat of the rye is nice. Even though it's only 80 proof, I think that rye, con or the fact that it's a rye is really helping it. But I don't see the influence of the bourbon barrel, mm -hmm. and I don't know if that's good or bad. Like maybe the influence of the bourbon barrel is that it tastes really smooth and good and easy to drink. I'm not sure. Well, it's basically a twice barreled rye, except it's not a newly charred barrel. It's a used barrel. Um, but I don't know if I've ever had a twice barreled rye before. But I don't know. I, w I would love to have had it you know, a side by side, this is what it is, just the rye, and this is what it is after it's been stored in that used barrel. Mm -hmm. Um, Jonathan Stetch, not sure who you're talking to. I'm not, because obviously I'm drinking. Uh, he asked, he said, hi, are you pregnant? <laughs> what? That's a weird way to start a conversation. That is, hi, hi, nice to meet, to meet you. you. Are, are you, you pregnant? pregnant? <laughs> okay, first rule, uh, a woman no. could be this big and down on the ground uh, doing Lamaze, and I would still never ask if she was pregnant. Yeah. Because then she would go, no, why? <laughs> like, oh God. What have I done? No, yeah. never. I mean. Ask a woman Does that mean I'm getting pregnant? fat? No, it means you're glowing. Oh, Chad, you just know right, the right thing to say. Okay, let's move on. And that's, and that's how it's done. <laughs> oh. There's microphones and, and you're sitting right beside me. Uh, sorry. Representing the uh, LBS today, Lexington Bourbon Society, which is who put our advent calendar together that we're doing daily. So I thought I would say that. <laughs> What's next? Uh, next is the Woodford Double Double Oak. Just so you guys know, I'm not offended. Like I literally don't care. I just thought that it was a really funny way to phrase that question. Oh, are people like yeah, people are like, crap what the it? hell? <laughs> yeah, don't leave. It's okay. You stay. Well, watch. yeah, Kate. So another female <laughs> said is like no party. You about. never do that. I just think it's funny. Like I've been conditioned over the almost three years that we've been doing this channel that people will say some really odd things in comments. And you just roll with it after a while. Like True. once someone said that your eyebrows are shaped like commas, you just sort of get used to it. Like, okay. <laughs> nice to meet you, internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, but generally like 99% of our comments are very, are very cool because we have a very cool community. Very supportive community. I've always said bourbon drinkers are the some of the best people in the world. So, you know, but then you throw in the internet aspect. I think it just brings, even if, if the person is still a great person, it's just like, the internet bug. It's like, yeah, maybe I will say something crazy. Yeah, I don't, and it is, it's whatever. <laughs> I, I personally it. am entertained by the out of left field stuff. That's yeah. why I addressed it. If it embarrassed me, I would have been like, scroll, scroll. <laughs> hide, hide. <laughs> yeah. Perry, um, where are you with the moderating? You hide that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so this actually brings up a good um, topic. Mm -hmm. It's coffee talk. I'll give you a topic. If anyone remembers old SNL. If not, they're like, what is his problem? Um, double, double oaked. Now, I think this comes from Swanee. I don't know if Swan's in the in the chat, but I'm pretty sure this is back before we put names on bottles. Yeah, and it's <laughs> taped, so it makes me feel like we did it over there at the counter when yeah, he was here. Yeah. I'm not sure, but... We're going to give... Uh, oh, TNT Blues TNT Corner. TNT Blues Corner. Enjoy Noah's Mill with my father-in-law on his birthday. Please wish George a happy birthday. George. Happy birthday, George. Happy birthday. George Blues Corner. And yeah, no, Mr. Kidding. Blues Corner, <laughs> senior. Happy birthday and drink more bourbon from Chad and Sarah. I will sing to you later. No. Okay. Um, so anyway, we're giving Swan credit for this right. Woodford Double Double Oak. I'm pretty sure that's where it came from. Um, and it is dark, I'll tell you It's that. so dark and on the nose it's like, straight up brown sugar. Like and syrup. If you made a brown sugar syrup in a pan, like a caramel, yeah. 
yeah. But here's it's... here's uh oh thank you Ricky. Wait. Oh yeah, that's nice. Um, here's the topic of conversation: Is a twice barreled bourbon when it has been barreled in newly charred barrels? Does that make it a finished whiskey or not? Discuss. Some people argue once you finish it the first time. But okay, here's a here's a hypothetical. Okay. You're aging um, a barrel in the warehouse and it, it gets damaged or, you know, the st something happens to a stave beyond where you could just put reeds in there right. to, to fix it. You have to Trans dump that out yeah. into another new charred oak barrel. Continue aging it. Since you did that, do you then have to designate, oh, well, this is finished because it, it was, it touched a, two barrels touched in its two lifetime. Barrels. Yeah. Or is it, no, we just had to fix the barrel. It's still just a new charred oak barrel. It wasn't ever a used barrel that held something else. Yeah. Or, option C, do you just have to put that it's double oaked? Could you... Do you have to disclose if it if touched... It been, even if you don't say it's finished, do you have to disclose that it was that it touched Twice barrels? barreled. I don't know. I don't know either. I think you would want um, to because that... that First of all, it's more expensive. It is more expensive. Because you've now just used up two, you know, $300 barrels or, or whatever new barrel costs nowadays. Um... And so you're going to charge more for it. And to justify that price, you can be like, hey, no, this is double oak. It's cool. Like, because this, $50. Regular Woodford, $30. Yeah. And like if you look at even what Jefferson's does with their twin oak. Oh, no, that's double oak. This is double double. This is double double. Yeah. So, but if you look at uh, what Jefferson says with their twin oak, they don't say double. They say twin. Twin. So it's still two. They're twinning. They're twinning. Yeah. Um, it's still the two. But I don't know if that, that finished caveat applies there. Mm -hmm. And I think it's all personal opinion, you know. It all says blah, 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 bourbon, finished in a Pinot Noir cask or double oaked. And it seems like people are, like you said, pretty open about putting that on there because it's more. Well, sure. It's a reason why it's more expensive. Sure. And it, But, you know, is it just this is a bourbon that happens to be double oaked? This is a bourbon that happens to be non-chill filtered? This is a bourbon that happens to be charcoal filtered? You know, it's mm -hmm. it's... Does it not make it a bourbon anymore or what? That's kind of the, we'll get to the bottom of We this. will. We'll ask some people. Um, real quick, uh, is it Tomas or Thomas Humphrey? I can't tell. Um, is heading to Kentucky after Christmas and wants to know best place to spend a few days for the visit. Give us an email at itsbourbonnight at gmail.com and I will make a little list for you um, and send it your way. Cause it's she will send you an itinerary that you have to follow. It's longer than what I can tell you right now. Um, Adam Terry says he's with Perry. Once you move it into a new barrel, its life has changed. Maturation will be different. And I kind of agree with this and I like... But that's not the question because that's not, that's not in question. Um, yes, undoubtedly the maturation has changed. The question is, is it then under the category of finished? Yeah, that's what he's saying. He agrees that it is finished. Oh, you, okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and Sorry. <laughs> I, I kind of do and I kind of don't because like... I've made this comparison before, and I don't think that it's necessarily a good comparison, but I think it illustrates my point. Like, if you take a tree and cut it down and refine it and make it into a table, you can't point at a table and be like, that's a tree. Right. Because it's not. It's yeah. made of wood, but it's something else now. Like, right. you've transformed it into something else. Whoa. So, I kind of feel that way about... That sweet. The bourbons, like, they were once bourbon, but they've been transformed into well, sure anything that's been finished in a in a used barrel but if it's still a new barrel that is tricky okay here's the thing here's an example so jefferson's did a thing called journey mm -hmm. that's where it two barrels went on a little ship and it went down the mississippi and it went to new orleans and then up around the coast to new york and it took 18 months and they were comparing that with the two barrels uh, from the same distillate that sat in a warehouse in Kentucky and they're doing an experiment to see if the motion of the ocean and out in the elements made a huge difference. Turns out, yes, it does. Mm -hmm. But what happened down in New Orleans where it had to uh, dock for a little while because of weather where the uh, barrels got damaged because there was a big storm. There's like a hurricane. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Zoe. Wow. <laughs> 
We, we forgot to close her viewing we, window. We did. Before, she's, uh, she's looking outside at all the other dogs. That scared me to death. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was just in the middle of a good story. You were. Uh, so they the barrels got damaged, and Trey had to buy two new barrels and rebarrel them for the rest of the journey. Journey did not come out advertised as double oaked, double barreled, no. finished, anything like that. It was just this is Jefferson's journey, eighteen month old bourbon that has you know, been on a journey, yeah. been on a trip. So, I don't know. Obviously, there's no TTB regulation, but the TTB, I feel like, is being kind of lax, lax lately. Lax things, yeah. Calling you out, TTB. <laughs> so, who knows? And I honestly don't know. I guess I haven't thought about it enough to really form my opinion. I think I'd have to do some more research. Um, someone asked if uh, we were going to be trying the Old Ezra 7-year uh, yes, we will. That's again on the uh, ever-growing uncorking list of new things that have come into our lives. And, and once the advent calendar is through, we'll have some time to get to those things. But we got to do our yeah. best of 2018 because that's time sensitive. That's right. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go close her viewing window so that she'll stop fussing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, turn off her stories. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, so I don't know. And, it, and that's something that we kind of have on the long list of questions that when we get a minute with a master distiller or a you know brand ambassador, anyone who is a uh, higher up in the whiskey world to kind of ask ask it because a lot of times it's not just cut and dry; it's more of an opinion, you know. The whole thing of is Jack Daniels a bourbon or not? Uh, a lot of times it comes down to opinion because the law is kind of lax, and some people will cite certain parts of the law and say that it is, and others will do the other and say it's it's not and so on and so forth. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and now it's because the people are here to mow the yard, and yeah. well, they're doing the leaves. They're, they're, yeah, there's there's leaf blowing <laughs> going on now outside. So, wow, what, what a, a Sunday! What, what a, a Sunday. Sunday! Never boring around here. Mm -mm. All right. They liked your turn off the stories. <laughs> <laughs> we do have to have a guard dog for all our whiskey. Yeah. She's definitely allowed. She'll let you know. So next, let's see, put this up here. Next, we've got uh, Isaac Bowman, which is a port finished. Um, and this is Buffalo Trace, right? Uh, well, it's, it's Sazerac. 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 So that means Buffalo Trace. Oh, my. Or, um, uh, oh. Barton? Barton, thank you. Um, let's see. And this is from Adam Nelson. Thank Adam you, Nelson. Adam. Yes, Adam Nelson, another one who sent us a, a big bunch. box of goodies. So we're spoiled. Here, do you want to? Sure. Yeah. Well, no, I just uh, get, I think I, I got it. Can I just? What, nope. Okay, that's fine. You got it. I'm sure, you can hear that leaf blower in the background. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. We didn't know. We thought they were coming yesterday. <laughs> Supposed to. Oh well. Oh well. Such is life. <laughs> yes. No wonder she was mad. <laughs> yeah. Okay, just gonna do small sips because I want to get through all these without becoming Sarah with an H. Right. Until like closer to the end, you know what I mean. Hmm. Jose. Jose. Nutty Squad drink. Nutty Squad represents. You're not late. You're right on time. Cheers, Jose. So this is 92 proof. Uh, like I said, finished in port barrels. I'm not usually a port fan. Not usually leaning towards those. Uh, Are you more of a starboard fan? Chad, you're such a jerk. <laughs> Okay. Oh, this is so cherry. Like yeah. Cherry light, bomb. bright cherry. Did you ever have, um, what were they called? Fun dip? With the different colored powder? <laughs> Boat jokes. That's right. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, fun dip, it has the uh, different flavored powders, and then you have that like white candy stick, and you like you lick it and you dip it in the powder. I remember seeing the commercials. Okay. Wow, I guess I was just, that's a generational thing. Well, I wasn't running out to... To get one? Get one. <laughs> it it smells like the strawberry fun dip powder. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that someone bringing a jackhammer by? I'm not sure what's going on out there. Need to build up the war chest after all the new purchases, for reals. Uh, oh, thank yeah. you. Thanks, and, Steven. And it is because of you all and Super Chats and patr patrons that were able to get these crazy bottles whenever this stuff like does come out, you yeah. know? So thank you all so yeah, much these, for your support. Yeah, these are all supplied by 
by people who have sent us sent this whole episode, I should say. Is, it is powered yeah. by samples. Powered by samples. That's right. Yes. And we are fueled by whiskey. That's true. Ooh, I want a shirt that says that. Yeah, okay. Write that down. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> I'd wear it. Mm-hmm. It might actually already be on the list. That sounds familiar. Mm-hmm. Like you had to have those in the '80s TNT Blues Corner. I was like, I'm not crazy. I'm not making this up. <laughs> this is very fruity. It is, and dry. which makes sense because of the wine. Yeah, but it is dry. So grapey. I think that's the uh, the wine. Yeah. Um, mm. Yeah, the wine influence there. It's uh, I mean, for <laughs> what? What's happening? Chad Holly said the noise is people digging in tunnel to sneak out your path. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. I like that. <clears throat> um. Yeah, it's it's better than uh, Angel Lucy. <coughs> <Lizzie. laughs> <laughs> the same. It is um, grapey. It's got like um, Joseph. Joseph raking leaves, but had to sign on live to say congrats on the fifteen k and on to twenty k. Oh, thanks, thank you, Joseph. Joseph. Thank it's, you so much. It's funny that he's raking leaves because we're literally slacking on raking the leaves and that's why there's someone outside blowing the leaves right now. Hey, we hired someone to blow the leaves so we could be here with you that's all. That's right, instead drinking of raking whiskey. leaves. whiskey, instead of raking leaves. Sarah with an H, raking leaves is not very productive. I'm allergic to leaves, so. Well, we'll just call it for that reason. And I'm not about to rake all those leaves by myself, so. I mean, I could do it, but then I might miss a live because I'm all scratchy throat. Ew. So. Okay, please don't. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, thank you so much. Thank you, Joseph. The best. Seriously, thank you so much. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. It just is grape y. Yeah, I it's don't grape, know. grape and cherry. Yeah, it's very fruity, mm -hmm. which again makes total sense because of the wine influence. Yeah. And that little bit of dryness, like port is dry, yeah. typically, mm -hmm. in my opinion. So I get it, but I actually like this. I mean, it. It's not something I would normally go for because it is so fruity, but I like it for the right occasion. Like I would drink this as, with a dessert or yeah, something. Yeah, 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 for sure. Grapey? Thomas wants a leaf raking <laughs> episode. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm also allergic to work. That That is, <laughs> so Jason is too. Yeah. It's too bad, too bad. Allergic to work. We should just do an outside episode when someone is blowing leaves. Why? Just so we could just have to yell oh, and I don't act want like to yell. nothing's happening while <laughs> leaves whip by us. Hopefully it's not too loud. No, no Pam today. Pam is on her way to northern Kentucky. Uh, so she abandoned me. It's okay. <laughs> it happens. She doesn't love you. Oh, well. All right. Bye, Chad Holly. See you next week. See you, Chad. Well, really sorry that it's so loud, but what can you do? Power through. That's yeah, all we can do. Exactly. So next, we have something that we've had before, but not this particular bottle, uh, a Midwinter's Night Dram. Mm. So we have Act 4, Scene 7. Yes. And Brian and Tammy Brinicky sent us uh, Act 5, Scene 4. So this is a later version than what I have. Mm -hmm. um, How many acts is this thing going to have? A lot. Typically I don't know. It's like three. <laughs> this is a five-act whiskey. Pam should pick up some new rib fry. She called me a couple weeks ago because she was in Louisville for a conference and she was like, we're going to some kind of event at the new Old Forester Distillery. I'm like, go in the gift shop. She's like, well, what should I get you? I'm like, I don't care. Just FaceTime me. We'll pick something. And then she called me later and was like, the gift shop was closed. Uh. That's not what Pam sounds like, but. <laughs> <laughs> uh. That's just my impression of Pam. You say this is 86, or 98.6? It's 98.6 proof. Oh. Like, much like Blood Oath. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm apparently covered up on the TV viewing. I don't know what that means. Are you I'm out cut of? cut off, Are he you says. out of? Well, it's just where you, yeah. TV has a little bit of, you know. I do. You know. I do. <laughs> um, okay, let's see. Please, thank you. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bill just picked up Act 6, Scene 2. Well, you'll have to let us know how you think. It is. Six acts? It's been... Uh, a while since I've visited it, but every time we visit it, I know we talk about how it's very holiday y, yeah. which now would be the right time for that. Mm -hmm. um, you know what? 
It smells very holiday-y. You're right back. What you gonna do? Okay, just leave me here? Cool. I can entertain a couple hundred people. I don't know what we're at right now, but oh well. Um, this might change the lighting a little bit. It maybe got a little darker. Whew. That is a lot of spice. But it's not hot. It's a... Uh, Potpourri-esque? Potpourri-esque. And I feel that way about a lot of High West stuff. I don't know why. Uh, Jose says, Eleanor has 12 chapters. They only have one through five for sale. However, they're all sold out. I want uh, one. So Perry found another bottle of old turkey. <gasps> and he's suggesting a, uh, a flight with some old bottles. I'm all about it, but... Yeah, absolutely. I would like all of the Eleanor, please. <laughs> Matt... Did send us a sample of the Eleanor. I'm yes, very excited about thank that. You. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's super. I mean, it smells like I just opened the door and it was Christmas. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, you are walking through a candle store. I think we use this analogy for, for something, something else. something we did recently. Uh, walking through a candle store ah. and eating potpourri. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Jeff Winbush says, Jeff appreciate Winbush. the new glasses to enjoy my bourbon in. Ah. We're so glad you like them. Thank you. Just so you guys know, we have ordered Glen Cairns. They're coming from Scotland. They could take up to six weeks to get here. So but that was about two weeks ago? Yeah. So ho Well, it's six to eight weeks. So hopefully, they will I don't think they're going to make it before Christmas, but they are on their way. Um, we also have more of the Bourbon Night t-shirts. Maybe by Valentine's Day. Yeah. We have more of the t-shirts ordered and we have another color coming and we're working on some more designs. So just stay tuned. Uh, we'll give you the update on the live about That's when right. we have new stuff, but glad you enjoyed it. James uh, Edwards says, Isaac Bowman and a Midwinter's Night Dram uh, are my wife's favorite and it's, and it's her, her birthday today. Uh, happy birthday, Sharon, Shannon. Happy birthday, Shannon. Shannon, sorry, I can't read from over here. Happy birthday, Shannon. Nice. And, right. and thank you, James. For the uh, super chat. Dave, David said, uh, have we tried the high-res double rye? Uh, I think we just had that on the advent. Or was that the rendezvous rye? We had Yippee and we had rendezvous. Rendezvous. Yeah. Hmm. Whoa. I mean, this goes past a high rye rye. Because yeah. I know it's not just a high rye. rye. Right. It's, it's a, oh good. They are literally, literally right there. Right there. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Well, this is, this right. is an interesting I'm going to put show. Zoe in the basement. <laughs> I'll be right back. Wow. Well, I'll say this. I forget the exact number, but we're at about 38, 39 live shows in a row. And um, it, was, it was bound to happen. We couldn't have gone a whole year of doing live episodes without this. <laughs> Hopefully so, you guys think it's funny. Yeah, oh good. So this is what happens with live TV. Yeah. yeah. It's and live. Zoe will probably start crying because I I did put her in the basement. Well, so I think once would. they're done there. Yeah, yeah, we'll let her out. Yeah. Um. Okay. Anyways, uh, time for some whistling. Oh, maybe if Chad will whistle an entire song for us, it'll make up for it. I'll wait till there's more silence. Mm -hmm. I need to prepare. But anyway, this is just, it's it's more. Candle store potpourri Fragrant. eating yeah, than and that... any high rye rye that we <laughs> I completely agree. Jose, woo, party. Oh. <laughs> Throw her a bone. Throw a bone. <laughs> Cheers, Jose. She gets loud. She's sweet, though. Mm. She made a cameo on one of our Advent videos recently. She so. sure did. If you you got to watch all the way till the end. Popped her, popped her popped head up. Popped her little up. head up. Yeah. <laughs> woo. It's still, I mean, I like it this time of year. But it's still just, it's the pinnacle of woof. You know, woof. it's... <laughs> it's a lot for me. It's, it's a, a lot. lot. It's a lot. Um, <laughs> Brian says the show must go on. That's true. Thank you, Brian. A cowbell cheers to you, sir. Um, Tyler Mills said, okay, seeing George T. Stagg in my area for 175 ouch, worth it? I think, yup. I do. Because I think you're, if you don't see it for 175 you're going to see it go for three, four... Maybe even 500. And this year, um, Perry let us try a bottle that he got, and it is damn Very good. Very good. Yeah, it's tasty stuff. 180 is only like 80 more. And I know that's almost double, considering it should be about 100. 
but for a secondary price, not double <laughs> for yeah. a BTAC is good. You might not have another chance to buy it at that cost. Yeah. So I would jump on that. I would do it. I but, would jump on that. Um, Brad, thank you. Brad, be yeah. red. Oh, be red. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> thank you. Kate says she knows the feeling of this because they had a tree removed uh, earlier this week. It took four hours and her three dogs were barking the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Show must go on, but the dog must go out. Yes, it's true. Yes. Um, yeah, I just gotta, let's see. I don't know, it's, it's just, it's a little bit too much for me. Maybe on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, it's after a meal. I'd be like, you know yeah. what I'm in the mood for? Some a midwinter's night dream. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little extra for me. It's a little extra. It's been yeah. a little extra, guys. It's so extra. that that's just, I don't know. That's just our personal opinion. But I know a lot of people love it. I mean, I always like trying the new ones. Like I think I like this one better than I liked mine. Agreed. Mine was more intense, even. So still, so this we appreciate yes. having had. So thanks, Brian and Tammy. I yes, know thank you. you're out there. Um. Uh, liquid fruit cake, Gary Edwards said. I <laughs> liquid fruit cake. Like your observations. Yeah. Um, With mistletoe. All right, bye, Swan. See you, Swan. He's got a bottle for next week's newly acquired section. <gasps> what could it be? I don't know. Ooh, that's treats. beard strokingly interesting. We like that. <laughs> All right. Next, how are we on time? Oh, we're getting close. We're getting close. We better roll speed on. this up yeah. if we're gonna get through the. Uh, well, what, what is that proof on that Cedar Ridge? Because uh, this is 101. Ba, 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 don't know, doesn't say. <laughs> Do you want to open it? Sure. Okay. It's uh, 200 milliliters. <laughs> Does that mean anything for you? Perry knows what it is. Well, that's not nice, Perry, because I want to know. Why no chat visible on full screen mobile? I'm, I don't know. Should be. That, that's weird. That sounds like a YouTube issue. You call them and you tell them. You call them. So it was the, this one. Okay. It is 80 proof. All right, perfect. Let's do that one before we get to the 2017 Yellowstone Limited Edition. This is a charred wine cask finish because it's 101 proof and I don't want to get over 100 proof before we try some of these lower things and ruin our palates, so. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> Again, this is from Travis Wallard. He was in the chat earlier. I don't know if he still is, but thank you again. And this is, what did he say it was finished in? Mountain Dew. He did not say that. That's a lie. It looks like it. <laughs> he said something earlier, but I, I, it's so far back in the chat that I can't, I can't, I can't find it. Can't find it. This okay. is the single malt whiskey. He's here. Uh, it's oh. finished in a variety of unique casts, then married into our Solera, resulting in a oh. depth of character and complexity that's not achieved in the traditional single barrel aging system. Okay. So it just says a variety of unique casks. I think one of them's a Mountain Dew cask. You think so? <laughs> yeah. It's light, but it's 80 proof, so you know. This is as light as the uh, Red River was. Yes, it's, it's, it is, yeah, quite light. Quite, um, quite light, quite light, quite right. <clears throat> that's interesting. That's, it's grainy, but it's different grainy than. I've never noticed anything like this before. No, that's interesting. It almost has like a lemon limey smell. So Sprite barrels. <laughs> I was thinking 7-Up. Seven 7-Up. Seven okay. <laughs> Single malt whiskey. Handcrafted small batches. <laughs> Everybody likes your Mountain Dew joke. I'm just busting balls because of the poster. That's true. It's poster true. says, sorry, Kentucky, I gotta bust balls. Oh my gosh. Right. Baja Blast. Baja Blast. <laughs> you guys are funny. They're a winery and distillery, so they have many finishing casks. That's interesting. Yeah. All right, let's give it a shot. So because... this will probably touch some wine barrels then. Yeah, because um, we're running barrels. out of time, so all I right. want to make sure we get to all these things. That's not what I was expecting, to be no, honest. No, it's, woo, it takes you on a journey, doesn't it? Really it really does. Yeah. Right now, it's going dry, though. Yeah. It's going pretty dry. But it is unique. 
And it was quite a journey. That is interesting. I don't... I'm trying to find the words to describe it. Because it's so different than anything else words. I've ever had. Where's your breath? There's a lot of fruit on the finish. Uh, it's... No, it's not. It's... Sh- is it really? I don't know if I believe you. He, Tony said it's 100% barley. What? I can't yeah, be right. Well, yeah. Is that what it says? Single malt whiskey. Mm-hmm. I would uh, imagine that that could be the thing. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. I can't read. <laughs> I mean, it, it doesn't say that on there. It just says single malt, but mm-hmm. I would imagine that that it's malted barley. Mm. <clears throat> this is their most awarded. It has this smokiness at the beginning that for me is a little reminiscent of scotch, and then it goes into this sweeter, more fruity, um, and I feel like I can tell the influence of that wine yes, on the Tony finish. Yes, Tony is correct. Yeah. There you go. Um, yeah, I would say this would be like a scotch gateway. I think so too. Like, yeah. this is the only thing I've tasted that's a lot like scotch that I'm actually like, hmm, I would drink this, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Yeah, you start to learn to appreciate that really grain forward whiskey, Mm -hmm. which this is. Um, And after having had a lot now over the past three years and a lot that have been so young that you're like, woof, Mm. and this doesn't have that aspect, then you start to appreciate this. You're like, okay, this is what those other ones were going for that were just so young and not great. Mm -hmm. Um, So yeah, it's... Mm, smoky. It is kind of smoky on the on the finish on the end. Yeah. I get it more on the front, but there's definitely it lingers. I think it just like hit me, like 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 that. Just like no, I'm smoking. Like that. Like like that. Like that. Like that. Um, which batch is this? Nineteen. This is batch nineteen, bottle number two thousand and eighty-three. So there you go. No, I could get into this. Yeah, for sure. It's so unique. I think it's something I want to revisit in a couple of days, just yeah. because my tongue is like, what the hell. <laughs> Oh, we've been throwing our tongues some... For just some, some wild cards some lately. Some crazy... Well, I mean, just this live in particular. Yeah. We've been throwing it some left hooks. I would like to try it without having had four <clears throat> other finished bourbons or whiskeys before it, you True. know. Um, all right. Let's see. So this is the 2017 Yellowstone Limited Edition. Uh, it's not age dated, 101 proof, and it's the charred wine cask finish, which I believe we had this at the New Orleans Bourbon Festival, and I quite enjoyed it. But she can't remember because it was the New Orleans Bourbon Festival. Sarah with an H remembers, but we'd have to get her out to, to tell us. May I speak to Sarah with an H? No. <laughs> no, I don't really want to talk to her right now. Nobody does. No, they do, but. Yeah, they do. Well, you got 12 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. We might extend it. We got two more to do. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see, Chad says. Do you want me to let her in? Yeah, let her in now that All they're right. done. I feel like she's being punished, and she didn't do anything wrong except for protect the house. If you guys are new to the show and just watching, I'm talking about my dog, Zoe. She doesn't seem to care that we're letting her out of the basement, but there she is. She was watching her stories elsewhere. Oh, she's a good girl. Uh, Jose said, did we get our tickets yet? Tickets to what? The New Orleans Bourbon Festival. Oh! Because that's what we were just talking about. Yep. No. Welcome to Two Minutes Ago with your host, Chad well, and Sarah. Well, not yet. We haven't bought our tickets yet, yeah. but we will. We'll be there. Um, we'll definitely be there. Yeah. So don't you worry about that. We'll be there. It'll be so fun. And if a lot of you guys end up coming, maybe we can do like our own little meetup after one of the tastings or for brunch or something like that. So we'll figure it out. Yeah. We'll host our own little oh, this smells thing so good. there yeah. during the thing. Yeah. We'll all sit together in class. It'll be like our little crew. <laughs> Can't sit with us. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, bacon. This is. <laughs> okay. Ham. It's a ham product. It's bacon fat and. Barbecue, maybe? I don't know. Caramel? Oh, you know what it smells like? Um. The, the candied bacon at OBC. Yeah. That, like, yeah. caramelized sugar on yes. top of the bacon. Yeah. That's what it smells like. Put this with some peanut butter and... But will there be bacon? Yeah. It's real faint, but it's definitely that. It's great. Oh, man. Wow. 
Wow. So far, well, this, this is, is my winner. this is my favorite of the day so far. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Now what? How is this finished? Charred wine finished. Charred Ch wine cask. Charred wine. So do you think cask. it's a wine cask that they then char a little bit? Or Can, was it a wine that was stored in a charred, a charred barrel? barrel, and then they aged? I'm not sure. Maybe it was a you. Maybe Who it knows? was a bourbon barrel that they put wine in because they then, do that. And then they put. And then after that was dumped, they stored it in the Jose. <laughs> they stored it in the Jose. They stored it. They in stored the it in Jose. And after Jose was done with it, Jose <laughs> says, "Nutty Squad, bacon. It is bacon. Is it bacon? What? It's bacon. Oh, bacon is it bacon? It's bacon. It's bacon. It's bacon. <laughs> Cheers." I got it. One day I'm gonna break a glass on that. We are really um, testing the rigidity of these Tribeca glasses, you, which you can get at amazon.com slash shop slash it's bourbon night. That's right. Plug. Um, <sighs> mm. This one definitely is the richest, has the most, de most depth of flavor. Yeah. I think. Wow. It's got, oh. yeah, just those I mean, it's it's savory. It's real good. It's it is savory. savory, and it has a little sweetness. It's like a meal, almost. I would pair this with some bacon. Yeah? Well, that makes sense. Or some peanut butter. You love peanut butter. Or I'd pair it with a nutty bourbon. Well, mm. I would love to spend more time with this one. Wow. Uh, I kind of want to have this as my last. Me too. That's why I want to save that, okay. so. There we go. Wow. Recommend. Highly. That's the 2017? That's the 2017 Yellowstone. Who gave us? Who sent us? This was from... Evan and Cassie. Uh, yeah, Evan and Cassie Herrera. Ah, uh, thank you guys. Yeah, so thanks. Good. Well, thanks I don't know everyone. if they're out there. I, yeah, I, I didn't mean to, for well, that to sound like more appreciative than everyone else. Yeah, Chad. Not meant that way. Don't be thank so you, rude. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> All right. So we've got Parker's Heritage. Mm. Carousel. Carousel. Car Carousel? Carousel finished. Okay. <laughs> Carousel. And Carousel. the last one we might not have time to get to, we'll see, is a Joseph Magnus cigar blend. Um, that's also from Evan and Cassie Herrera. We have done this one before, so we might just leave it. I'm not sure if we're going to have time to get to that. I'm not sure if my tongue's going to be up for it. It's 112.8. So. Well, this one's again from Matthew. Thank you. Thank you, Matthew. I mean, this is a whiskey is the best. This is a serious, uh, this is a serious bourbon. Yeah. Whiskey, excuse me. Oh. Bill says, George says, thanks for the birthday wishes. Bill is uh, TNT's Blues Corner. Mr. Blues Corner. Thank you. You said that like Mr. Mr. Anderson. Anderson. No, I don't think he's in the chat. <clears throat> Mr. He's not, Anderson. He's not. We do have a Mr. Anderson that we oh. con con converse with. Jose. Nutty, a drink. So what about Angel's Envy? Any thoughts? Yeah, Jose, we got thoughts. My thought is... Well, our thought is the Isaac Bowman mm -hmm. port-finished straight bourbon. We would recommend if you were looking for a port-finished whiskey, we would go with the Isaac Bowman over the Angel's Envy. Now, yes. we're not talking about cash strength, Angel's Envy Rye, or anything crazy. We're just talking about that normal, like, $50 Angel's Envy. I would go with that Isaac Bowman all day, son. Eric Schwab. And that's all day. His birthday's tomorrow. Also, I sent you a message through Patreon, and I don't think you ever replied to me, so I assume you, just, you hate me. So we assume we're, you're mad at us? Whoops, what did, what we, did do? we do? I mean, um, some people really like Angel's Envy, and that's totally fine. It's a divisive one. We are not fans, um... I actually have had the rye and I do find it more preferable. I think it has like a lot of espresso on it, so that's not for everyone again. Really interested to try the cask drink though. Yeah. Maybe it's one day. It's just so damn expensive. It's so expensive. Says us who just spent how yes, much money on whiskey this was, weekend? Yes, but that was more of a surefire. <laughs> that's true. We knew what we were getting with that. I don't know what I'm getting Spending with Spending more money on a product that we've not been impressed with their base level it's is It's real hard to do. Risky. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So orangey. Just. Just it tastes like, is there a drink with citrus. orange juice and whiskey? I feel like, I mean, there's a screwdriver, so I feel like there's got to be a drink. Orange with soda. Oh, my God. <laughs> Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good, Good Burger, Burger can I take, take your order? order. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 it's orange soda. It's that time. It's orange. <laughs> <sighs> Just straight up orange. For me, it's like orange medicine, which is a turnoff. We feel differently about this one, or have in the past. Wow, this is more orange than when we had... 
when we had it before. Where was that? Yes, Perry. That was a Keenan and Kel reference. Does Perry really need to ask? I guess so. Because <laughs> it was a spot on impersonation. Um, mm. Yeah, where did we have it before? We had it at the... Oh, LBS. The advent calendar Mixer. sample swap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this tastes more orange than I remember. This is like straight up sun-kissed. Yeah. It's sun-kissed. It's really... Yeah. With whiskey. Wow. I mean, I appreciate it for what it is. I think the the whiskey element that's in there that's being overpowered by the orange is a really solid whiskey. And this is Parker's Heritage. I mean, mm -hmm. come on. So, like, I guess because it's Parker's Heritage, I have really high expectations for it. I don't hate this by any means, but I get a very medicinal... <laughs> I love orange soda. It's just all <laughs> I get a really medicinal thing with the orange coming through, like this is orange the, cough medicine or something. Yeah. This is the Parker's Turning Heritage Orange Car Carousel. Yes. Curacao. Curacao finished Curacao. 110 proof. So Some people say Caraco, but I think Caraco it's... Caraco finished. I don't think that's how you say it's it. It's Kaylee Cuoco finished. So she, Curacao. She didn't spit it out. That's disgusting. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty you bad. You wish she did that. No. Um, it's her bath water. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and we've hit that point. We've hit it. We've uh, hit it hard. <laughs> um, so this is this year's Parker's Heritage. Yes. Uh, from Heaven Hill. It's once a year. It's coveted. Which is crazy because I, I love Heaven Hill stuff, but this, for me... Well, it's a crazy finish. It's a pass. It's a I, I, Which is weird. I like this more than you. But here's the thing. we When we were at uh, Bourbon and Beyond... Um, wow, it's so orange. What's What am I trying to say? I don't know. Words? We were at Bourbon and Beyond. We were in the, the bottom, bottom of the bottom bottom kitchen, kitchen at Bourbon and Beyond. No, but what's that distillery? Oh, you're talking about uh, the the Bartown Bourbon Bar Company. Yes, that's right, Bartown Bourbon Company. Gosh, I wanted to say Bluegrass Bourbon Company. I was like, that's not right. Um, okay, so it's like we were there and they did a uh, Curacao finished. They have like a bunch of products that are going to be released in the next few months. They intend in the next six months to release them, but they were doing basically like oh, a- Oh, Copper and King? Copper and Kings or no? No, no, was it? it was, it was- Under was their Copper logo? I think it was. Oh, maybe it was. Perry was there. Can, can Perry, tell us. Um, the, like, whoa, they are doing a bunch of uh, finished experiments and they were like, some of these might not even make the cut, but we tried all of them and they were really good. And I especially liked, they did a Curacao finished one. And he was like, it's not even ready yet. It needs six more months in the barrel. And I was like, this is delicious. Why is it not ready? Like, but we give it our stamp of approval. Yeah, I mean, can't we just have it right now? Um, <laughs> he he does, you tend to like this one more than me. I'm I'm not a fan. Like, I would pass. But I really like orange. I, don't I really don't. There you go. I mean, like, even, like, orange bitters in a cocktail, it's so easy for fruit-flavored things, to me, to come across medicinal that it's just better safe than sorry, and I'll usually skip it. Collaboration? I don't know if it was collaboration. Oh, Perry, it was. It was collaboration. Was it collaboration? Yes, it was the new stuff from collaboration. Okay. So, you guys But it wasn't to, in uh, those squatty potty bottles. It was in a, a long bottle. Yeah, it was in a tall bottle, not yeah. those... It's probably because it wasn't the official final bottle. Right. I'm sure it So it might end up in a bottles. squatty potty bottle. Don't call them that. Squatty potty? Yeah. Do you not like unicorns who poop rainbows? No. Well, it got quiet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes. we, we still see four people watching. Can someone let us know how many people are watching right now? <laughs> I, I assume like two. <laughs> well, after you said squatty potty five times, that they probably left. So. Yeah, probably. Okay, so now I... Do you want to do that, Joseph Magnus? Let's finish it Let's out. finish it. Because I, it I need something. Like, that's not horrible. 163. Great. So you've offended 163 people today. <laughs> Good to know. Okay. No, they're still here. They love the squatty potty. Oh, no. The other one was perforated. Dozens of us. Oh, here it is. Okay. So this is the Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend, batch number six, non-age dated, 112 proof. I have to get this orange out Another of my Another expensive one. Again, thank you all mm. so, so much. Yeah, this one's from Evan and Cassie Herrera. Thank you so much. You guys spoil us. You will send us some really nice stuff. I can't believe it. And how do we thank you? By saying squatty potty. No. By saying nutty squad. Nutty squad, represent. 2018, almost 2019. What, what? I feel like you were about to throw up a 
a Nutty Squad gang symbol. Or I something. don't know how to do an N. Some sort of make a planner's peanut guy out of your hands. <laughs> if you squint, if you close your eyes, if you close your eyes, you can really see it. You can it. see it. Use your mind's eye. All right, just a little. Open your inter eye. There we go. Okay. I think that's enough. Okay, Joseph right. Magnus. <sighs> Can of Venice, not while drinking. Well, good! Sons of bitches. Um, oh, is this, is that a hot mic? That is a hot mic. What did we call Chad with an H? He's Chaz. That's Chaz. right. That's what we called him. Chaz. Chaz. Chaz rides again. Yes, he does. Hmm. I could tell because your cheeks are red. Yours are. Well, my cheeks are always red. I'm jolly. It's the season. <laughs> when I laugh, I shake like a bowl full of bourbon. So you slosh. I slosh. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of gross. <laughs> you all are fine. Yeah, nutty squad. Uh -oh. The sign language sign for N. That's good. <laughs> yeah. I don't, uh, I don't, how do you do it? I don't, I don't M -N. know. N. I think this is N. Is this right? Who knows sign language? N? Is it this way or this well, way? Well, because it's L, M, N, O, I think. I don't but know. But is it facing us or facing them? I don't think it matters. Can you tell? I think it's facing the other person. Okay. Why would so... you be like, I'm doing sign language to myself? Perry says, yes, that's right. Yes. I'm cultured. <laughs> Nutty for life. I, I only know the alphabet and I forget a couple letters every now and then. So that's pretty much <laughs> what I got. Oh, I'm looking at the replay because we have a little bit of a delay. And you think and that's I'm funny? like, man, I was seriously flexing. <laughs> what? what an idiot. We got to get you out of here. Yeah. Jose. All right. Nutty Squad. Nutty Squad shirts. Thomas or Tomas. I, I'm sorry. I don't know. I need you to phonetically put it in the chat for me. Uh, he says, um, we can make a move. Oh, sorry. What did he say? He, he said nutty he wants squad. nutty squad shirts. Okay. Uh, it says facing. Okay. Gary says facing away from you. Okay. Yeah. So Cause that's, you would it. sign it to whoever, not to yourself. Like, hey, me. <laughs> hey, me. Um, we can make a movie called nutty squad and I would guarantee you it would be better than suicide squad. Bye Tony. Um, yeah. Yeah. You're cultured AF. I wish I knew how, like how to speak sign language more. You don't speak sign language. You sign sign language. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. I wish I knew how to sign. I apologize. And I wish I was taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl look good. I would call her. Wait, I do. Oh. I'm going to call you later. You do. Okay, thank you. <laughs> this doesn't really smell like a finished. Um, it just smells good. Trevor Wilson, where's the Jaeger and pickle juice? He wants to know. Oh, good. Maybe we could do that. On the live right before Christmas Eve. <laughs> sure, something. that'll be our present. Our every, present to you. To every, every, everyone. Just something terrible. What are we sipping on? Uh, are you, I don't know if you're asking us or the audience, uh, the chat, but this is Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Batch number six. Oh, wow. Hey. Hey. Jose. It's nutty. <laughs> you think so? Do, Do a number, a number one, one with, with your left, left hand and a V backwards with your right, then put it together. A V backwards is... or upside down? Oh! oh. <laughs> they both say. Oh my gosh, I was trying to figure that out, it was stupid. That's too much work though, it, it requires two hands. I feel like, I feel like in, in for nutty, for life, for life. You're done. Who gets that? You're done. And the views, they're going down. No, 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 they're going yes, up because they they're like, um, they're making obscure references from the 90s. Yes, we love it. Click like. <laughs> like, like, um, like, like, like. Thumbs up. This is really good. I really like the, the Joseph Magnus. 112.8 proof, non age dated, batch number six, Joseph Magnus cigar blend. I don't know what that means. Cigar, cigar blend. blend? It has a, like, Maybe it's just in the name and I'm just getting that, but I think it's like a little bit smoky. Technically, we're going up. Technically. Don't NFL? No, it's uh, don't NWO. Him. Don't encourage him. Um, I don't get the nutty at all. I get a lot of heat, a lot of char, but I really like it. Yeah. I still think this Yellowstone might be my favorite, though. That's going to be the toss up there. That's going to be the fight, the flight fight right here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna go Yellowstone over this. I think it has this. There's this one's a little too smoky for me. 
I mean, Yellowstone is is easier. It is lighter. easier. Well, it's also 10, almost 12 proof points lower, so. True. What? <laughs> what? I don't know. Matt said Sarah will send you a picture of Nancy to show you. That Joseph. Nancy made a cigar blend to... Uh, oh. Oh. Joseph Magnus. What? Gotcha. Okay. Yes. Thank you. That'd be great. Appreciate you. Wolfpack. Wolfpack. We demand See? Chaz. We want Fireball. We don't have Fireball. We don't. Well, we're probably going to have to get, bad. get some of that. We'll, we'll just get the get shooters. We'll they just get, get the shooters. Wolfpack. Wolfpack. Don't make him say it, Eric. Don't read it. What? Nothing. This Yellowstone is a 2017 limited edition. Squatty potty. <laughs> You're obnoxious. <laughs> I like you, but, uh, but I like you, but you're crazy. Yeah, I don't know. I would have to do a a more comprehensive back and forth between the Yellowstone and this cigar blend. They're both. I like them for different reasons. No Jaeger, no Jaeger. Maybe Squad Potty. What? No. Maybe Squad Scotty Squatty Scotty Potty. All right. <laughs> so, your favorite of the day was? I don't know. I can't decide. It's definitely a toss-up between the Yellowstone and the Joseph Magnus. Is this cigar blend worth the price tag? I want to say this is... Is this 100 or 200? I can't remember. I think it's somewhere in between. I think it's around yeah. 130, maybe, 140. Um, I mean, it's very good. It's very good. But we always go back to... There's cheaper things. If that you can are... have Elijah Craig Barrel Proof for seventy to eighty dollars, oh, would you rather have that or this? Or Booker's. Or Booker's, but I just use that one because right. it's just a. I feel like a lot of people. It's good. One fifty. Okay. One fifty. But mean, it, it's like you're not going to get this exact taste with those others. Now you might like those more, but if you're true. looking for a different taste, I don't know what to tell you that tastes exactly like this because I don't think there is anything that tastes yeah. exactly like this. You're not going to get something as interesting as this i don't think for yeah. less um i wouldn't be mad if i spent 150 on this and it tastes this way but i would probably rather have something else it's very good i True. wouldn't be disappointed but just know if i had the foresight to know yeah i'll pick something else i think brian said he had a peri hashtag peri pour of knob creek 25th <laughs> and needs a nap not Creek uh, 25th then is so good. Perry said, can we have a hashtag Perry pour to finish off the show? No, Perry, we no, can't. No, we can't. Because we are going to dinner later. That's right. So we have to... We have to tone it down. <laughs> a hashtag Perry pour. Usually Oof. it's me who gets out of hand. No Wendy's. No Wendy's today. We've sworn off Wendy's for a couple of days. It's been a Wendy's weekend, so... It's been a... It's been a wild week. Maybe that's why weekend. that guy asked if I was pregnant. Because <laughs> of all the Wendy's. <laughs> oh, well. It's okay. No, no Perry poor Perry. <laughs> no Perry poor Perry. I already told you. Nutty Squad, back me up. <laughs> mm. Okay, yeah. I mean, you can't decide between those two. It's a tough decision for me, but I'm going to go Yellowstone. So. Yellowstone? Okay. Nutty. Jose. You out. Jose. I'll just do it. Oh, wait, you do have some. Ooh. Well, thanks for sticking with us, guys. Sorry about the uh, interrupting dog and um, <laughs> leaf blower. Interrupting cow, moo! And, uh, and Chaz over here. So. What's up, everybody? Oh. My name's Chaz. Yes, we do. Brian Allred, you're right. We're going to do the... For our patrons who entered, we're going to do the drawing for the tasting um, this afternoon. So stay tuned for that. We will post that later on. And, uh, yeah... Other than that, I mean, I guess that's going to do it for us, Chad, right? Yellowstone at local bar for $6.95. Well, it's probably just the regular Yellowstone, not the 2017 limited edition. I don't know. Check into it. If it's a limited edition, get you some. Perry's calling it best live stream ever. Oh, Perry. <laughs> How do you get a bell, Charlie? Um, if it's your birthday or if you super chat or if you send us a sample. Whatever you want to do. All yeah. right, well... I think we're uh, winding this one down. So. We are, we are. Yeah. Woo, gonna... it got hot in here. I got to lose this scarf. <laughs> we're going to go to dinner. Mm -hmm. We're going to go to OBC Kitchen. We love OBC Kitchen. Which is in Lexington, Kentucky. 
Mm-hmm. And we recommend it. You can get bacon and bacon in a glass. That's what it's we were talking about earlier. Standing up bacon with a side of uh, peanut butter. Delicious. Because Chad hates peanut butter. <laughs> no. Um, one of the best bartenders in Kentucky is there, Iverson. I love him. He makes amazing cocktails. He has a, a preferla of knowledge on whiskeys and will just help you out. And in, he's a in, sweetheart. In your journey. And he's a sweetheart. Yeah, we like him. Uh, so. And their food is amazing. Yep, so, it's true. That's so we're, we're going to go do that later, which yeah. is why we got to get Chaz back to Chad. Um, and we're going to go hang out there. So yeah. thank you all for joining us, and we will see you next Sunday. Yes. And until then, you can click the button. <laughs> Drink more bourbon. <laughs>